アキラさん自身しアトホーム Hello everyone! Today we'll show you how to make tsuma, shredded veggie salad, which is perfect to garnish your sashimi platter. We'll use Japanese horseradish, cucumber, and carrot. Let's start off with daikon. Today we're using yakiri bocho, one of Japanese traditional cooking knife that is used exclusively to cut vegetables. You can divide daikon into three parts as you can see, and today we will use the bottom part as it is the most spiciest section. Today we will cut about four finger worth of length. This will be just good enough to fill a small bowl. Nakiri bocho may be great for cutting vegetables, but it has its cons too. It only has a blade on this side, therefore, when you cut into the object, it goes like this, it doesn't cut in straight. See, see there? So make sure you cut it straight. Here, we're just gonna adjust it a little bit to make it horizontal. There are different ways to prepare tsuma, but here we are showing you katsuramuki. A method of cutting veggies into a thin strip. It's like peeling a potato but slightly different. Top tip is for you to move your knife vertically while you rotate the veggies with your thumb. Important thing here is to keep the thickness consistent. Personally, I find it easier doing it while pacing myself with a certain rhythm. Now, as you can see, we have a long strip of daikon, so let's cut it into a smaller strip and then stack them all together. Shred them into a long thin strip and keep a bowl aside, and once you're done cutting, place them in the water. So we have a bowl full of daikon ready. Rinse it a little, give it a whisk, and we're done. Now it's time for carrot and cucumber. The process isn't much different from daikon. Cut vegetable into half or one third, then peel the skin off, and then do katsuramuki. Here we're using carrot, daikon, and cucumber, but we can use a wide variety of ingredients as tsuma. It can be myoga, seaweed, shiso, you name it. Not only that, it brightens up the plate, but it's a lovely way to reflect the seasonal colors and flavors. Here, Akira san is showing you how thin you're aiming for when you're slicing vegetables. This makes a huge difference in texture when you eat it. So, here's a question What is tsuma, anyways? As mentioned in the video earlier, tsuma is a shredded vegetable that acts as a garnish, mainly for sashimi rather than sushi. Originally, tsuma was made only from daikon because of its sterilizing effect. It was said to be more hygienic to lay sashimi on top of tsuma rather than directly placing on the plate. It also acts as a palate cleanser along with gari, which we will show you how to make in the next video. Our beautiful crisp tsuma is ready. Today I placed it along with kohada. See how beautiful it is? Thank, Thank you, you and arigato. arigato! See you in the next video!